I'm in Glasgow, pretty much in the city centres at the Barrows, a famous antique and vintage hunting ground. If you've never been here, really, I seriously recommend you make a visit. So I'm going to give you a little walk around, introduce you to someone I've known for some time now. Every time I come to Glasgow filming, I seem to bump into him. So come with me and let me know what you think of the Barrows in the city of Glasgow. Now, I know this fella over here, John. Come on, John, are you going to show me around? Certainly. Come on, this is my YouTube and Facebook channel. Say hello. How are you doing? <laughs> morning. I'm good Just, morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good. David, thank you very much. Good to see you all. So it's Sunday morning at the Barras. Sunday morning at the Barras. Yeah. Are you, are you here every Sunday? Here every Sunday. Yeah. Try to sell uh, the best quality we possibly can get. I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> and how is trade? Quiet this morning, but it's still a bit early for a Sunday morning. Yeah. Most normal people are in bed. Most normal people, most sensible people are in bed. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a look around. Are you going to show me around, John? Certainly. Come on, then. We're just discussing your attire, you know. And w were you being complimentary about my attire? Yes, we I, would. I think there's nothing wrong with your yellow uh, shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Orange trousers. <laughs> Come on, John. Show me around. Oh, that one. Oh, that was... How long? Let's have a look at that. When was that? that was Hang on, stay there. I'm going to zoom into that. 2018, that one. Is that where we last met? No, I met you doing the celebrity one. Ah. After that, we have done it with Joe McFadden and Philip. And oh, that's right. And Reverend Richard Coles I was that's with, right, wasn't I? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So, any idea how long the Barrows has been here? 100 years. Is it 100 years? Celebrating uh, 2020. Wow, okay. Come on, John, let's have a wonder. I've only been here 15 years. You've been here how long? <laughs> 50? You're not old enough. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. So you must know everybody here, do you? Well, I was away for 15 years because I was running part of the antique centre. Oh, that's right, which is where we met. That that's was in, the, in yeah. the centre of town, wasn't it? Uh -huh. The big antique centre. So what is the Barrows known for? Is it just anything and everything? Anything and everything. Um, if you want something discounted, you come to the Barrows. It's all about wheeling and dealing, isn't it? Yes. And I see there are signs everywhere, it's cash only at the Barrows. A lot of it is cash only. A lot there's, of it, most of it there's is. There's the odd dealer yeah. that still carry a machine. Right. You know? But it's proper but old it's, school, isn't it? It's becoming a necessity now to have. The machine because a lot of the younger generation don't think yeah about carrying cash no i suppose in time even the barrows will be, everybody will take cards but at the moment it's good old old school wheeler dealing cash only i love it and there is literally everything here john isn't there including like militaria over there <laughs> upholstery and what on earth I mean, <laughs> hello. This is a. Uh, I think that might be an old girlfriend. I'm not sure. <laughs> this, this is Andrew's uh, hobby, I suppose you could say. He's right into the weird and wonderful. Well, you know what? I've heard people say that that theatre companies come to the Barrows, don't they, and they buy come props. And, they come Let's and keep on walking. Sometimes they come and rent. Um, just various. They're always looking for something. So it goes down here, this is the on-street trading, and then inside here is the big antique centre, isn't it? This is Randall's, yes. Oh, it's enormous in there. Shall we have a little wander in? Yes. Go on, I'll, I'll let you lead the way. Great sign. 
I mean, you've got a fair choice in here as well. Oh, is this Andy with the, um, oh my goodness me. Crikey, Andy does like the weird and wonderful, doesn't he? That's the dinosaur that they had, that they sold. So we had the bigger ones. So these are very proppy. So you've got everything from the Andy's weird and wonderful. You've got kind of 1960s, 70s vintage. And then traditional antiques. I mean, bearing in mind, John, what time is it? Quarter to 11 on a Sunday morning. It's pretty busy, bearing in mind it's quarter to 11 on a Sunday morning. Still relatively early for Sunday. Now, is it only Sundays, the barrows? No, Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday, but not during the week? Not during the week, not at the moment. Okay. Now, what have we got going on over here? What's happening here, John? This is Bob, he sells a lot of tools and obviously tries to restore new bits of furniture as he goes along. So he's actually doing the restoration here? Yes. And what's he called, Bob? Bob. I think I met Bob earlier actually, I think I did, yeah. Hello Bob. Hi, how you doing? Do you mind having a quick chat? Not a problem. Brilliant, yeah. what, what are you up to there? Yeah, I'm restoring a, restoring a vase, I restore tools. Right. Also French polish and restore furniture Wow. as well. This is my workshop. So, when you say restoring, you're yeah. getting it prepared for sale, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I just bring it back. Just bought, I actually just bought, bought some off the boy that come off the road and <coughs> came in, sold me a few tools. So, what I do, I bring them back to life again. Right. And uh, as I said before, I've had, had people from all over the world come to see me. Have you really? Yes, uh, and one particular guy came from Alaska. To you, see me, yeah. You're kidding me. No, no. Just to see you. Yes. Uh, Bob, seen... you're Mr. Popular. Yes, you better believe it. Not, <laughs> not according to these chaps in here. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're popular with me. Good I think like that's that. fantastic. Yeah. So, and what? Sorry, are you all right over there, John? Yeah. You having a bit of a panic attack? The Bob's selling all this stuff to people from Alaska. <laughs> yeah. The chap came in. He seen my advert on the uh, Facebook, and he, yeah. well, he said what he wanted. He, he come and um, speak to me. And, and uh, what, me. what did he buy from you? Well, he's interested in the old um, Matheson tools, Glasgow tools. Right. Um, what he's doing, he's want to restore. He's restoring a house down in Galloway. Right. And he wants to use the, the traditional tools. Wow. And um, he's a very, very interesting chap. He's uh, he's an archaeologist. And um, believe me or not, if, 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 if don't mind me, I'll, I'll let you know what he, what he does. Yeah. Um, he get commissioned by the Galloway Heritage Council to. Um, what you call again, restore a, a castle down there. Wow. And he's got his own firm, he retired. He's got his own firm and he's got his own a group of people. Fantastic. They come down and pull up, up the drawings and do wow. a, a landscape drawings and architectural drawings. And what they're going to do, they're going to restore the place. Fantastic. Um, which is, is a tremendous character, so he is. And using some of the tools that you've yeah, supplied yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bob, fantastic. So, well, you get back to work. Yeah, no problem. That is wonderful. Real good recycling and... Yeah. Um, upcycling and okay. any sort of cycling yes. you want to call it, John. Okay. Yeah, good to see you, Bob. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Bye. Come on, John. I don't know why I'm always drawn to candlesticks. I mean, look at that 19th century, probably 1840 candlestick. It'll be a push up. There's the push up there. You push that to push the and dispense with the old candle. Probably worth. A few quid, but what a great thing. In fact, you'll find a 19th century candlestick, I think, in every antique centre in Britain. They're not big sellers now, but they should be. Big motorbike. As you can see, you've obviously got David there who sells all the records. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. It's wild, isn't it? traditional vinyl yeah yeah and then what have we got in the corner there john is that that is not a psychic yes. in the corner no way yes you've got a psychic in here in the barracks yes so you can come and have your fortune told yes you can fortune told get your hair cut get your hair cut and empty your wallet at the same time <laughs> <laughs> empty your wallet no doubt about it <sighs> hello there sorry don't mind us 
Wow, that's remarkable. Okay, and is she in today? She's in just now. So if the lights are on, she's in, is that right? Yes. Wow, okay, oh. I might go and see her. I could do with all the help I can get. <laughs> Morning. 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 One quick look in here then. This is my sweetie, Jean and David. Just is mind bending, isn't it? Vintage clothing as well. well it's like everything. It is everything, isn't it? Oh, I love a good old lava lamp. That's actually quite a new one, isn't it? But never mind. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be antique. To be well, I think when it comes to lava lamps, it's probably a good idea to buy a new one, to be honest. And then you get the one weird and wonderful room. Oh my goodness gracious me. Weird and did you say wonderful or just weird? Both. <laughs> Both. Oh, John. Andy's got some imagination. He's is this Andy who owns this store? Andy, yeah. You say he's got some imagination. No. I'd say he's got a very strange imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, oh, finally, John, what is that? I've never in my life seen anything like that before. So that is a 1960s television set with the guts removed and horribleness replaced. But there's something bizarrely attractive about it.